the president will be leaving the White House about 4.40 this afternoon. But before he does, he'll take some time in the Roosevelt Room a little after 4 o'clock to make some remarks on immigration. He'll talk about the status uh, on the border. He'll talk about the potential for changing things around when it comes to asylum. And one of the ideas that's been kicked around here at the White House is an executive order or some sort of regulatory action to only allow people to declare asylum at the border, not if they cross over illegally. We've told you about that over the last few days. The president will also lay the blame for the immigration problem at the foot of the Democrats. And the president campaigning now, beginning last night, like he did in the closing days of the 2016 campaign. He'll be in Columbia, Missouri tonight, tomorrow, hunting in West Virginia and Indianapolis. The number one issue on many voters' minds is health care, but the president tried to keep immigration way up front. It was the central focus of his rally in Fort Myers, Florida last night. And the president, in an interview with the Christian Broadcasting Network, declaring that the predicted blue wave next Tuesday is dead because of immigration. Listen here. There's a lot of feeling about the horrors of the illegal immigration problem where people think they're just going to come into our country and take over our country and it's just not going to happen. We're not going to let that happen. But the Democrats want to let that happen. It's crazy. In Missouri, Senator Claire McCaskill, who is fighting for her political life next Tuesday, has suddenly come around to the president's way of thinking on the caravans that are headed to the United States. Listen here. The president has to use every tool he has at his disposal, and I'm 100 percent back him up on that. Whether it is turning them back um, because we are not equipped to handle that many asylum claims into our system. So I do not want our borders overrun, and I support the president's efforts to make sure they're not. McCaskill's challenger, Republican Josh Hawley, is not buying her 11th hour conversion to Trump supporter. Listen here. I think it's a bunch of nonsense. I mean, this is somebody who votes with Chuck Schumer 90 percent of the time. When it comes to v Brett Kavanaugh, Justice uh, Gorsuch, tax cuts, immigration, uh, Senator Mc tariff, Senator McCaskill has been against this president and against our state on every issue that matters, not just this last year, but now for 12 long years. Now, let's take a look at the state of the races. According to the Real Clear Politics average, Josh Hawley has got a two point lead over Claire McCaskill in Missouri and West Virginia. Republican Patrick Morrissey trails Senator Joe Manchin by nine points. That race narrowing just a bit, though. And in Indiana, Democrat Joe Donnelly has about a one point lead over Republican Mike Braun. Don't forget, these are all states where the president won by substantial margins in 2016, about 20 points in Indiana and Missouri, 40 points in West Virginia. And Bill, uh, we'll hear more. Bill and Sandra will hear more from the president this afternoon about 4, 4.15. Nothing going on there, right, John? No, nothing. <laughs> Five nothing days away. John Roberts, thank you.